Okay, today we're going to be talking about little equations and how is it that you can isolate a variable in a little equation. So first of all, a little equation, what is it? Well, a little equation is an equation with many variables. So in other words, our equation is going to have more than just one letter. Now, to solve a little equation, something that we've been doing with equations, solving. Well, in little equations, to solve it is actually to isolate a ver one variable, meaning one of these letters is going to be left alone or by its own on one side of the equal sign that is to isolate so here we're going to do an example we are being asked to isolate m meaning the letter m is we want what we want to leave alone in terms of e and c this is only letting us know that as we leave the letter m alone on the other side we're going to still have the letter e and the letter c Okay, so we know that we are, what we are being asked to do is to leave the letter M alone. So we're going to start exactly the same way. My goal is to leave the letter M alone. So right now what I need to do is actually cancel the C square. Now the question becomes, I have M C square. What is the C square doing to the M? So they're next to each other with nothing in between. That means multiplication. So how do I cancel something that is multiplying by doing the opposite, which would be dividing? So I'm going to divide by C squared. And what I do to one side, I do to the other. What is going to happen is the C squared and the C squared cancel. My M is alone. And my answer would be E over c to the second power. This will be my answer. Okay, we're going to look at another example. Here we have this equation, v equals i r, i over r, okay? So I wanted this, this one a little bit different. First, we're going to isolate the i, and in the same equation, we're going to isolate the r, okay? So, first I'm going to start by writing my equation y, v equals i over r. And remember, we want to leave the letter i alone. Okay, so if I want to leave my letter i alone, I need to cancel my r. Well, right now my r looks like it's in a fraction, and it is at the bottom of the fraction. Well, that means that it's dividing. And the opposite of division is multiplication. Therefore, I'm going to multiply times r each side. R multiplying and r dividing, they cancel. The i is alone. And v times r is vr. And that will be our answer as far as leaving the letter i alone in this equation. Now, I'm going to use exactly the same equation v equals i over r, okay? And I know that I want to leave, in this case, the letter r alone. Now, here we're going to have an issue because the r is my denominator, okay? So I can cancel the e, but that will not stop the r from still being a denominator. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply, I'm going to try to cancel this r from being the denominator. How? I'm going to multiply times r, and I'm going to multiply times r the other side, okay? So r times v, rv equals r dividing and r multiplying, they cancel. And all that I have left is the i. So after that, I just need to leave the r alone. And how would I do that? I need to cancel the V. How? They're next to each other with nothing in between. That's multiplication. So I'm going to have to 
divide. Divide by V, divide by V. And I know that we do not know how to do I over V. So we're going to leave it as I over V. And that's my answer.